married fairground workers running bouncy castle which blew away killing girl, 7. Jailed for. Married fairground workers running a bouncy castle which blew away resulting in the death of a 7-year-old girl have both been jailed for 3 years. Summer Grant passed away in hospital after she was rescued from the inflatable at an Easter fair in Harlow, Essex, on March 26, 2016. Husband and wife fairground workers William and Shelby Thurston were handed a sentence of three years each today. A trial previously heard the inflatable rolled up to 15 times in the air after it came off the ground. It was said to have blown 15 feet in the air and landed 300 meters away. Summer's mum Carol Blackie has told Chelmsford Crown Court today how she screamed when a nurse phoned her while she was in a taxi to tell her that her daughter had died. In a heartbreaking statement, she said, I never thought that my summer playing and having fun on the bouncy castle would end her young life. Her dad Lee Grant said, When Summer died, I felt as if I died too. I felt as if I had nothing left to live for because she was my beautiful angel. A court heard how the day after Summer's death, younger sister Lily was told that Summer was up in the sky. That night, her mother saw her staring out the window in their hotel room. She said, I'm saying good night to Summer. During sentencing remarks, a court was told, it does not bear thinking about what that little girl went through inside that bouncy castle. William and Shelby Thurston had denied manslaughter by gross negligence and a health and safety offense at a previous hearing at Chelmsford Crown Court. But after a three-week trial a jury found them both guilty of manslaughter by gross negligence last month. The couple, from Wilburton, near Ely, Cambridgeshire, were also found guilty of failure to discharge a duty under Section 3 of the Health and Safety at Work Act 1974. During the sentencing remarks today, a judge told the Thurstons they had put children at real risk of harm, adding that it was only good fortune that Summer's sister Lily was not also inside the bouncy castle. Kara's statement in court today said, I was home watching a film when my phone rang. It was Tasha Stevens and she was crying and not making much sense. I could not make sense what was going on. My heart sank. I just wanted to be there for my little girl. We called a taxi to take us to Harlow. All sorts of things were going through my head but not that my daughter would die. After being in the taxi for 15 minutes a nurse called and told me Summer had died. I screamed. Kara described how before Summer's funeral, she painted her daughter's nails blue, her favorite color. She also put her glittery shoes in the coffin, the ones that Summer wanted to wear on her first night out. The court heard that since Summer's death, Kara has suffered from anxiety and depression which has made everyday life very hard. The schoolgirl, from Norwich, had been at the fair with her father Lee Grant and other family members. We all have to live with this for the rest of our lives, a statement on behalf of Lee Reed out in the courtroom today said. Family members of the Thurstons burst into tears as the sentences were passed. In the sentencing remarks, the Thurstons were told, this was not simple negligence. This was gross negligence. Your breaches of duty were not just serious mistakes. Your conduct was so bad that in the jury's view, it must be regarded as criminal. At the heart was your failure to have any sensible regard for the weather. High winds had been predicted for days. You knew that or should have known that. You were putting your customers, and by customers I mean children like Summer and Lily, at real risk of harm. The judge said the fairground workers had failed to ensure the dome was adequately anchored to the ground and to monitor the weather conditions to ensure they were suitable. They were told, you were both directly responsible for this. You failed to ensure that the dome was properly secured to the ground. Dadley ran after the inflatable, which was lifted off the ground by wind while Summer was playing on it, jurors have previously been told. M. Zaling earlier told the court that Mr. Grant ran after the Superdome as it lifted into the air. The prosecution lawyer said, Lee Grant heard his mother scream no. He turned and saw the dome inflatable had lifted into the air, appeared to hit a caravan before flipping over. He shouted, my daughter is in that, and ran after it, but it was moving too fast for him to catch it. Another woman who was at Pet's Corner could see the top of the Superdome as it was lifting in the air. 
it was cartwheeling and only stopped when it crashed into a fence at the bottom of the park. Summer suffered serious injuries during the incident and died just a few hours later. Speaking after the guilty verdicts, Nicola Rutter from the Crown Prosecution Service, CPS, said, William and Shelby Thurston failed to ensure that the bouncy castle was adequately anchored to the ground and failed to monitor the weather conditions to ensure that it was safe to have it in use. They denied their actions were negligent but the CPS and the police built a strong case, together with assistance from the health and safety executive, and demonstrated to the jury that the Thurstons had breached their duty of care to Summer. Our thoughts are with Summer's family and friends. During the trial, Chelmsford Crown Court heard from witnesses who claimed the bouncy castle was blown to the top of trees. Ben Mansfield was at the fun fair with his wife and son on the day that Summer died. Prosecutor Tracy Ailing asked Mr. Mansfield what he saw when the bouncy castle blew away. He said, as we were leaving the park, I saw it blow away suddenly. I did not realize someone was in it. The park was quite empty. I saw it go but not how. There was a gust of wind, I could see the top of it. I would say it went maybe 15 feet in the air, it was quite hard to gauge. I saw some people running after it. I saw a car following shortly afterwards, it was a pickup truck. During the trial, the prosecution presented evidence to suggest the couple failed to adequately anchor the bouncy castle to the ground and monitor the weather conditions. In the hour of the incident, Wind speeds reached up to 40 miles per hour. The inflatable should not be in use when wind speeds are above 24 miles per hour, Essex Live reported. Opening the trial, M. Zaling said the fairground workers had failed in their duty of care towards Summer and caused her death by breaching it.